Welcome back guys, this is the King Weebs here and this is what if Naruto was an Aquaman? Well not an actual Aquaman but here we all know that Aquaman are some kind of beasts. They are actually Titan soldiers, however it's a bit different. If you wanna understand you can go to uh someone else's channel to understand. A lot of people explained it and uh, I'm pretty sure Animal Balls Deep and many others, I'm, I can't remember their names, but I've watched a lot of videos and this has been a recommendation from one of the Hokages on the server, Sukuna, a really good mate of mine. And anyways, uh, <clears throat> this wife is wife Naruto was an Aquaman part 1 and uh, the Aquaman are people who were tested on with the, you know, uh, you know, f spine fluid uh, for... <clears throat> the titan spine fluid and anyways here they actually well naruto's clan the uzumaki clan are basically the aquaman and instead of being uh fighting uh <clears throat> you know titans they'll they would be fighting tail beasts and we all know that uzumaki's are known to have large chakra reserves which goes to actually support the fact that they would be fighting them and uh, we know that some A oh, well, the Aquaman have uh, powers of their ancestors so they have memories of or they can recall the things that their ancestors or their uh, predecessors did and uh, so they can they have the experience of their predecessors and anyways now since Naruto would have the experience of many of his predecessors for example <clears throat> one of his predecessors would be the one who actually, uh, you know, became friends or actually created the impact of uh, alliance with uh, Hashirama. He would have been a pretty freaking strong, especially because he has sealing abilities and everything. And anywho, Naruto, of course, from birth had a really strong durability and everything. He's basically going to be the Levi of uh, Naruto's, <laughs> anyways. Now, Naruto and the uh, Team 7, well, not the Team 7, but, uh, what am I talking about anyways? Naruto, of course, having all these uh, memories and abilities, uh, still would have to train himself. Of course, he won't just be strong from, strong from the get-go. He would have to train himself as well. And anyways, now, Naruto is born as Panomo and the uh, events go exactly the same up until when Naruto is actually 4. Naruto meets someone or you know has always had this one person who he always wanted to protect uh, and uh, of course the Aquaman always ha have that one person they need to protect for example Levi with Commander I forgot his name wait 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 wait, wait. No, no 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 I cannot forget his name I cannot forget his name uh, Commander Erwin there we go I was about to search him up but then I remembered Commander Erwin of course that's with Levi Mikasa with Eren and uh, <clears throat> Kenny was uh, with the actual uh, with, with Historia's uncle, I believe. Him, uh, whatever. I don't know his name, but he was the founding titan. And since all uh, of the uh, Aquaman actually have a some that little protective pact with their, uh, you know, uh, contractors or something. I don't, I don't know what to call them. The people that they want to protect and they follow after. For example, when. Uh, one of the things that happened is when, you know, <clears throat> Mikasa got that brain wave of uh, attacking the person that was about to kill Eren because Eren told him, told her, screamed at her to kill him, to just kill to survive, kill to survive, and literally that's what she did. She killed to live onwards, and anyways, ever since then she was always uh, there. And also when, uh, you know, Eren, and just saying they have to have a good bond. Uh, for example, Erwin and Levi, Eren and Mikasa, also um, <clears throat> uh, um, Kenny and the and the first, uh, well, not the first founding titan, but you know, founding titan before, uh, you know, Eren and uh, his father. But anyways, now Naruto, who of course has that bond with the Hokage, yes. The Hokage has that bond with him. The Hokage has that bond with him. Sorry guys, I had to just mess with someone. 
Anyways, of course, Naruto and the Hokage have had that bond, and Naruto always wanted to protect the Hokage, even when the Hokage told Naruto to always stay at bay, because Naruto was a really, uh, well, he was more like a stalker to the Hokage, however, the Hokage knew why Naruto was doing this, is because he, Naruto actually uh, thought of Hokage as someone who he can trust, because the Hokage had been the only one to actually be kind to Naruto, or not treat Naruto badly uh, there are other people however Naruto has never made bonds with them and anyways now of course Naruto and uh, anywho of course Naruto will make more bonds in the future for example with this team and everything however it won't be as long lasting as with the Hokage anywho Naruto and the Hokage always had that bond and the Hokage actually saw potential in Naruto because once when bullies were actually attacking him uh, the Hokage was actually watching from afar of course and he actually saw Naruto being able to take them out with actually really good Taijutsu which mostly martial arts from predecessors and everything Naruto actually has that experience and kind of destroyed every single one of them and anyways now Naruto of course then got back to his senses and asked what happened because the Hokage actually came because Naruto was actually pretty freaking strong and the Hokage actually said alright then Naruto if you want to protect me that badly then you gotta train under me and once you're ready you can actually become one of my god bodyguards how how's that is that fine and anyways Naruto then says yes I want to I want to I want to protect you at any cost you are the only person you're like my grandfather and everything and the Hokage actually just laughs and says I'm sure you'll find other many other people too that you want to protect in the future anyways of course here Naruto and uh, uh, <clears throat> the Hokage actually begin training and just saying Naruto's four and so he has a lot of time and everything anyways Naruto actually then uh meets other people while training of course he meets uh kakashi in the process of training because kakashi actually being really close to the hokage and anyways he does meet other jonins especially when naruto is training with the hokage because some jonins actually come to see and visit the hokage especially because the hokage is old and they all they are worried about him and anyways especially um asuma and asuma sees really a massive amount of potential in Naruto. It's been a year since Naruto has been training under the Hokage, and Naruto made massive progress in his training, especially when the uh, training underneath under the Hokage. And anyways, one day Shisui comes in, actually with his sister, and uh, asks the Hokage if uh, his sister can train under the Hokage too. Then the Hokage asks why, and Shisui says, "Well, you see, I'm I'm a ninja and." I know that one day it will be my time to actually go and the Hokage is that you shouldn't be thinking like this Shisui but then Shisui says even so we all know ninjas should be ready for death at any moment especially in battle so if I do one day go I don't want to I don't want to leave my sister with nothing I have trained her myself for these past few years and she is really strong however I can see that you've taken a student too and I would like you to take my sister as in your student too. In as your student too. And the Hokage says, Oh, you see, I don't have much time. Even Naruto hasn't been training too much with me. Even during this year that I've trained him. However, I'll take you up on, on that offer. Since you have done a lot for the village. Even after the, Hoka the fourth has passed away. I do owe you a big one. So, here. Come here, Tsuki. Meet Naruto. This is going to be your new training partner from now on. Hope you guys get acquainted because you will be training together from now on. Naruto and Tsuki have never met and they were pretty much a bit of <clears throat> pretty much a bit of strangers to each other. Tsuki didn't know how to like talk to Naruto, how to treat Naruto and Naruto never met Tsuki. Someone who is not too interested however uh, in but since the Hokage said that Shisui did a lot for the village and uh, even after the Hokage died and Naruto has heard a lot about Shisui thanks uh, due to his connection with the Hokage and everything and actually wanted to learn a bit more. Of course the Hokage wanted to test how strong Tsuki is and so she put him out, up against Naruto. Naruto of course fighting Tsuki actually having a pretty easy time up until Tsuki activates a Tutumo Sharingan yes her being trained under the uh, Shisui and Shisui actually is a 
mostly scared because of a Donzo and Donzo always uh, acting strange around him and always and he does he has heard from Itachi that Donzo might be interested in his eyes especially because of the power his eyes hold and everything anyways of course the, uh, the Shisui was like yeah so in case I die I uh, train my sister to be pretty freaking OP I don't want her to fucking die as well or anything but anyways of course uh, Naruto and uh, uh, <coughs> Tsuki actually were fighting even Naruto could barely keep up with uh, Tsuki having her two to my uh, two to one to one Sharingan did I say two sorry anyways of course now Naruto and Tsuki actually finished their fight with their final moves Naruto is really good with Taijutsu even though his ancestors were really good at seeing Jutsu Naruto is an Akraman uh, well, more like the Akraman is basically turned into Uzumaki. However, I am going to give Naruto the same uh, well techniques as Akraman's. Uh, well, Levi mostly, not Akraman. I, I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyways, Naruto has really strong durability and the experience from his ancestors because of uh, them actually being in war and everything and uh, having fought many strong uh, shinobi of the past. And remember, shinobi of the shinobi of, shinobi of the past are no joke and. Uh, yeah, they are freaking strong, especially uh, Madara and uh, Hashirama, remember, these mans are freaking beasts, they are so strong, not even modern day shinobi could even put up a fight with them, remember Hashirama when he was actually nerfed as a reanimation, and, uh, well, nerfed as a reanimation, and he was uh, fighting Madara, uh, not in, uh, he said that Naruto nearly had enough chakra to actually rival his when he is uh, when he is reanimated so it just goes to show that he has more chakra than naruto when he's reanimated he's nerfed and uh, of course uh, naruto uh well hashirama had more when he was animated and everything uh what well, not animated <laughs> when he was alive and everything but anyways now naruto of course in the end finished the fight by actually winning even though Naruto didn't use any jutsu, Naruto was not allowed to use any jutsu because he didn't want to. And Tsuki was, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't that he wasn't allowed to. It's just that Naruto knew that if he did, it would be pretty unfair because Naruto has some pretty overpowered jutsu, especially because of uh, his uh, ancest ancestry. Of course, the experience of using these jutsus was actually pretty freaking uh, easy for Naruto to learn since. Uh, his ancestors knew them, uh, many of his ancestors knew them, and so Naruto would know them too, or would easily learn them much, uh, he would learn them much easily, uh, with um, with less strain basically, it would be easier for Naruto to learn shit like that, but anyways, of course, Naruto and uh, uh, Suki, uh, Tsuki actually got acquainted after this, and uh, they were really intrigued about each other's abilities, Tsuki was strong as a shinobi even though being pretty young and Naruto was strong too uh, which actually impressed Tsuki because this is the first time Tsuki actually met someone this strong other than her brother because she didn't see anyone else fight uh, at this time anyways now Naruto and uh, Tsuki actually continued training for another year and Naruto of course learns more and more even learning sealing jutsus from uh, high ranking ceiling jutsu from the Uzumaki books and uh, scrolls especially one jutsu that can actually take his life uh, having uh, already experienced this and uh, of course uh, <clears throat> Naruto having experienced uh, well have, since uh, Kushina I'm pretty sure she knew it too because uh, Minato learned a lot of ceiling jutsu from Kushina of course that, sh uh, that went to a show that Kushina knew a lot of them too and anyways Naruto of course being now six has become way too strong for anyone to really handle other than Jonin's anyways even Tsuki has become very very strong already having the two tone Sharingan anyways Naruto has now began actually training up against the Hokage himself the Hokage taught them however they never really thought fought against the Hokage himself anyways now that they actually have practicals against the Hokage fighting against him who will win and anyways now 
Naruto and Tsuki continued for the next two years just like that. Up until the Hokage told Naruto and Tsuki that that was enough. Their training is finished for them. They've learned enough and the rest they will learn on their own. Of course, a shinobi can be trained. However, they need to have experienced they have experienced themselves and learn on their own. Anyways. Anywho. Of course, Tsuki does lose her brother a few months prior to the academy beginning and um, she was devastated. And anyways, Naruto then actually does console her and thanks to this, actually, Naruto has a new bond. Someone who he newly bonded with and uh, his connection went from the Hokage to Tsuki. Of course, he still wants to protect the Hokage just out of sheer will however not only does he want to protect Tsuki and make her happy but also his increment or you know his increment DNA uh, actually connects him to Tsuki now so basically he's the new Mikasa to Eren but Eren is Tsuki while Naruto is Mikasa which kind of doesn't make sense to be honest anyways of course there won't be any titan power ups or anything like that because that's some bullshit i'm not going to do that i'm just seeing what would happen if naruto had the powers or what would happen if naruto had abilities like the acreman did for example you know having experience from prior acremans which are basically prior, prior uzumakis which naruto has a, a lot anyways now naruto and Tsuki, of course, a few months later, she do begin the academy. And Naruto, of course, he doesn't really care. He knows all of this. However, he still tries to make new friends. Tsuki always had friends and she did try to make Naruto get acquainted with them. But however, Naruto declined saying that he's not the type of guy to get acquainted with others. And he's awkward around others. Anyways, of course... I do want to cover what Naruto and Tsuki learn over those few years that they trained with the Hokage. Four years, in, uh, well, Tsuki three, but Naruto four. Naruto during the first year, he actually learned how to use all five chakra natures because he had the ability to remember having the ability, well, the experience of other Uzumakis went to actually allow Naruto to unlock the five chakra natures before actually unlocking the full Chroma Chakra or, or six, six fast stage mode. And all that kind of shenanigans. But anyways. Now. Naruto. Of course. Actually. Who. Has these powers now. Uh, continue to learn more and more jutsus. And even. Some jutsus that aren't meant to be learned by Genyans like him. But. Thanks to the experience that he had. He had so much. So much experience. That he could actually learn things very easily. And. Uh, one of the things that he learned was the Majestic Destroyer Flame, which then Tsuki went to learn on her f last year training with the Hokage. But anyways, of course, now, Naruto also learned many Taijutsu skills, and he's really good at Taijutsu. And not only that, Naruto, of course, has knowledge about tail beasts and everything, and he knows their weaknesses, well, not weaknesses, more uh, to, to be... I wouldn't say weaknesses, but of course he knows about their powers, abilities, and all that kind of shites. Because <laughs> remember, the first Hokage did marry Mito, and Mito does know everything about the <clears throat> Tail Beasts, basically because she was literally the wife of Hashirama. I just caught a, a fly, and I'm, I thought my instincts were really fast, but it was pretty slow. Anyways, now... Of course, Naruto having these memories of, of Mito, he knows how the Nantos looks. And he knows that he has the Nantos because he has actually met her himself. Of course, the Nantos was completely baffled and he could see that Naruto was really strong. Naruto, not only did he have the powers of his mother or Mito, just them, but he had the whole entire Uzumaki clan, literally. And just saying, this would actually go to boost Nagato as well. Even though Naruto only has his family tree, Naruto has the whole entire one because of Naruto actually being the reincarnation of Ashura. Remember the Uzumaki clan and the Hyuga clan are actually part of the Ashuras, Ashuras no thing. Well, not Uzumaki and Hyuga. Hyuga are actually uh, Hamaras. Uh, I meant Uzumaki and the <clears throat> Senju clan. I know some 
some one tryhard will hear that and straight away go to the fucking comments and will be like, hey, yo, what did you just say, bro? Dude, Uzi Kid, you got you fucking dumb, fam. You got some wrong path, the fucking Ashura thing. Are you fucking stupid? You're dumb, you're dumb. I'm mean, subscribing, dislike every video. I know there's someone out there who would do that. <clears throat> Me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> now, Naruto, of course, being the reincarnation of Ashura, has a bit of more boosted or busted you could say boosted power ups or more like broken uh power ups uh, but anyways naruto is really freaking strong anywho now naruto of course learning many other jutsus on his f third year which was his second last year naruto was training with tsuki however he actually learned things from the scroll of ceilings yes of course naruto could not have had sage of oh, something like the wood release uh, would release because of uh, him not being an ancestor of uh, oh no him not having an ancestor from the central clan uh, well no 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 that doesn't make sense him not having hashirama as his ancestor even though he's kind of connected to ashura because he was the prior reincarnation of ashura it, you, i could make some next up bullshit plot armor saying that naruto would just get wood release because of it but i'm not however of course, Naruto has many other techniques. Anyways, now Naruto, of course, using his prior knowledge about tail beasts and everything, and all the experience that he had, he kept learning from the scroll of ceilings. Forbidden Jutsu is not the reanimation Jutsu because that's fucking OP. Anyways, Naruto, of course, learned the Shadow Clone Jutsu. He knows about the Flying Raijin. However, he had no experience with it. Of course, Naruto actually learned well. Added one plus one because whenever he tried to learn a new jutsu, somehow he had some experience with it before, and so he thought it was some kind of ability that he had. He calls it an ability or, or more like a power, but he hasn't told anyone, not even the Hokage. However, once he actually saw the flying raging, he did not, he did not have any experience with it. Of course, this showed him that not every single jutsu in the uh, scroll of seeing he has abilities oh well he has experience with which goes uh, which means that he's not acquainted to the Fukukage at all and of course naruto actually did have his own little suspicions especially having kushina's experience he did see like the Fukukage in his memories and everything however that just fully <laughs> baffled him he's like wait could i be uh the, related to the fourth no nah, but then after realizing that one of the techniques of the fourth hokage he had no experiences with it means that he's not related to him at all but he's, he's he never crossed his mind that he could be his son and kushina's son anyways he doesn't know the names of uh, the prior uzumakis that he has experiences from however he does have some of their memories for example he has the memories of uh, the nine attack but he doesn't have the memories of Kushina's last moments with Minato and Naruto because of those memories being locked away uh, for some reason he can't unlock them and then he, Naruto of course wanted to unlock those memories because he remembers Naruto's attack but then everything goes blank up until he's born basically or he actually starts recalling memories from his childhood of course Naruto realizes that the Fukage must have sealed away the Nantos inside of him and of course he asked about that bit but he didn't but the Hokage made sure not to tell Naruto that the Fufu was his son anyways now Naruto and Tsuki of course going through the years of the academy oh no sorry before I covered that let me cover Tsuki I have covered Naruto oh yeah Naruto's last year was actually him actually just refining the skills that he has and he has a lot of them he has a lot of techniques which i'm not going to name every single one of them because that would take me years anyways naruto of course has tried to learn the flying raijin but the hokage told him that the flying raijin is an excellent technique which naruto will take years to learn and naruto says that he will learn it and so the hokage said all right then write it down on a scroll because i can't allow anyone to know that you're using the scroll of ceiling otherwise it could be a bit controversial anyways of course the hokage is doing this because naruto is the fourth hokage's son and he wants to actually you know allow naruto to learn more and more because he can see that naruto is a prodigy of course he's not a prodigy it's not that he's a prodigy it's just that his dna and everything even though he's a now he you could say that he's a prodigy at the same time well in many people's eyes he is but anyways of course naruto does know about 
uh, Kakashi and everything. And he's only going to the academy because the Hokage forced him to make friends. Otherwise, Naruto would have become a Jonin right there and then after becoming an eight-year-old, to be honest, uh, which would make him the youngest... Would he, would he be... Yeah, the youngest Jonin ever. Anyways, I'm pretty sure all army members are like Jonins. I mean, root members. And uh, since... Uh, so, uh, Dachi became a captain at the age of nine. Yeah, he would be the youngest Joni ever. Anyways, now Naruto was already thinking like a Hokage in the first place. And anyways, he also does not try to go against the orders of his, uh, you know, master. Not master, but the person he's connected to. Because Tsuki never orders him to do anything. In fact, Naruto and Tsuki have more of a relationship that uh, a more of a friendly relationship, more like boyfriend and girlfriend but at the same time not because they're not really that yet but anyways of course Tsuki has feelings for Naruto and Naruto has feelings for her too however they think it's one-sided but anyways they don't want to tell each other yet because Naruto does not want to destroy their friendship in case she's interested in some, someone else because there are other people but anyways of course after the Chiha massacre happened Tsuki had no one no one left not even foster parents which she never had in the first place because she don't want them but anyways the hokage allowed tsuki to actually stay with naruto so naruto got a new home and his apartment his original apartment became a two uh, he moved into a different one and he was sharing an apartment with tsuki of course having two different rooms but anyways now naruto and tsuki all is trained together and over the years naruto has made a few new friends shikamaru choji shino kiba and uh, even Hinata and Ino. So basically the whole of the Rookie, rookie Nine. However, Naruto wasn't actually going to become a Chunin or anything. Because of, uh, well, not Chunin or Genin either. Because of his uh, immense amount of experience. Naruto could actually become a Jonin team leader to be honest. And maybe he blew well, I'm joking. No, he won't, he won't. There's no way I'll make him a Jonin team leader. Naruto will still have to go through missions and everything. However, he won't go as, through missions as a Genin. Of course, now Naruto and Tsuki are 12 year years old and they're really strong. Tsuki, of course, is pretty much Joni level. However, she has no experience, which actually brings her down to low tuning level because of just the sheer amount of experience that Jonin has compared to a Genin or, or, or just a Shinobi. Even though she has so many techniques and she can actually pop a good fight, the exp we're, talking about, we're not talking about 1v1 fights, we're talking about wars. In a war, Tsuki would be a completely useless trash. Of course, she would be able to do some damage to the enemy. However, when we think of it in the grand scheme of things, she would be completely useless. Same as Naruto, because of their lack of experience. Even freaking Kakashi or even Asuma would be much better than them. If you were to choose between Naruto or Asuma, or no, let's not do Naruto. Naruto, uh, think Asuma or Tsuki, they would definitely choose Asuma over Tsuki, even if Tsuki would be stronger. Uh, n not as of right now, but more experienced Tsuki, let's say a uh, one year into her Genin life, Tuni, uh, Tsuki, of course, they would choose Asuma because Asuma has been a a, a Jonin for a long time. Anyways, now, Naruto and uh, Tsuki, of course, pass their test and uh, on this night, someone else steals the scroll of sealing, which Naruto was easily able to stop. And actually tell the kid that he'll, uh, he, uh, he should try harder and there are no shortcuts to becoming a Chunin. Even though he did get special treatment at Kanda. He still told the Genin that if he tries, well not the Genin, the failed Genin. That if he tries harder the next year, he'll pass definitely. And he smiles at him, giving him new hope. Because no one really told him that except for his parents. But his parents really didn't seem like they, uh, they were actually trying to encourage him or anything but anyways of course naruto knowing how hard it is to actually train and become stronger he tells him that he can do it if he tries even harder and harder and over the, over the years he will become stronger anyways of course he returns the scroll and actually destroys music because he tried to kill the kid and him naruto was able to slice through the massive shuriken and uh, literally yes naruto has a sword and uh, looks at <clears throat> Mizuki and Naruto says, You give yourself in now or I'll have to use force. And I'm not guaranteeing you your life. Understood? 
but Naruto knows that he needs to question him on who ordered him to do this and everything but anyways of course he wasn't going to actually give any information about them but now Naruto then says all right then and uh, as he says that Naruto actually blitzes uh, <clears throat> Mizuki and just saying Naruto of course having a body flicker he's actually really good with it and he's not on the level of Tsuki because Tsuki is already on the level of Shisui with the body flicker and uh, not trying to get up to that level however Tsuki would actually put up a really 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 intense fight up against Naruto if they were to fight if if they were to fight and uh, of course Naruto who actually was able to destroy Mizuki and Mizuki had no chance against him. Then Iruka arrives and Iruka sees that Naruto took him out. And Naruto then actually puts back his sword. He didn't kill Mizuki. He actually just uh, hit him in parts where then he actually immobilized him. Actually paralyzed him afterwards by using lightning release. And anyways, Naruto says that Mizuki uh, stood no chance and there's no point of apprehending him. He's already done. You can just throw him in jail. There's no need of uh, Iruka. He can do it himself. And Iruka says, it's fine Naruto. You can go give back the scroll. I'll take I'll take him. I'll take uh, this one and the uh, Mizuki to uh, I'll take this one home and Mizuki to the interrogation team. And Naruto says, "All right then, I'm kind of counting on you." And anyways, now Naruto and sorry. Anyways. Naruto then leaves and heads home and Tsuki was actually waiting for Naruto because she actually made dinner. Naruto and Tsuki actually do turns on cooking and Naruto is actually pretty good at cooking because of Tsuki she teaching him and Naruto doesn't have uh, ramen every night and every <laughs> every single chance he gets. Anyways Naruto grew up really well eating well so Naruto isn't actually as sure as he was he was actually one of the tallest in his class and anyways of course the next morning uh, everyone got their teams and team 7 would be Tsuki, Sasuke and Sakura. The rest of the teams are exactly the same and Naruto then puts his hand up saying what about me and uh, the <clears throat> then uh, Shikamaru, well, not, uh, Shikamaru, Iruka then says that he will actually become a Jonin assistant. He will be doing the missions just as per normal because he needs the experience however he won't be permanently in the team. He will actually move from teams from time to time maybe or he will be going into high rank mission from time to time and everyone asks why does naruto get this kind of treatment and then Yuruka says that there are certain there are circumstances that naruto has went through and uh, because of uh, the experience that naruto already has he's much more experienced than most of them and tsuki then of course wasn't jealous at all in fact, she actually believed that this is the right treatment for Naruto because Naruto is strong as hell. Naruto, Tsuki knows that how strong Naruto is and he's no one to be messed with and he does not deserve the rank of a Genin. He deserves the rank of a Chunin. Even though Hokage said that once Naruto is experienced enough, he will definitely go to Jonin because he has the power of one. However, he doesn't have the experience of one. Remember, if you were to pop up against an ex a, a toddler which, who has a lot of strength up against a... MMA fighter, yeah, he doesn't have, he's the weakest MMA fighter, the MMA fighter would win, there's no way, even if the toddler was strong as fuck, <laughs> the amount of experience that man has, anyways, it's the same with war, if someone has experience with a gun, but someone, let's say someone's really skilled at a game about guns, w would he be able to beat someone who's really uh, bad with in that game, but actually knows how to use a fucking gun, I don't think so, exactly, anyways, now, Naruto of course <clears throat> um, accepted this but he asked what team he would be in and uh, Iruka says that he doesn't know uh, the Jonin team leader that actually says that Naruto will be coming with them uh, that, that's the team that he'll be working for right now anyways Naruto then says, accepts and says alright then anyways then he just starts talking to his friends and one by one every, every team was taken away and Naruto realized that he's in team 7 and he's like Damn, I guess I should have expected it anyways. Now, Naruto and Tsuki were talking, because, and Sakura as well. Sakura asked Naruto how he, got, uh, how he got this kind of experience, and Naruto says that, well, to be honest, Tsuki could have been the one if I, if she actually started training um, with, some, with the Hokage before. And 
Sasuke was like, you trained with the Hokage? Me, I know why. And Naruto then says, to be honest, it's because I begged him. And uh, I really wanted to become stronger since I was really weak. And, you know, Sakura uh, then says, wait, so the Hokage just trained you because you asked him? And uh, then Suki says, no, also because the Hokage saw that Naruto has a lot of uh, skill and talent. Of course. He has a lot, he is a prodigy. And Naruto then says, Shh, Suki, listen, everyone can become strong. In fact, any of these two can become stronger than both of us. Even if we're talented, hard work beats everything. A talented person can't be strong without hard work. Someone may say that a hard worker may be able to beat any, any talented person, which is true. We've seen it in Naruto many times. Even though Neji against Naruto, Naruto did not deserve the win. That was so anticlimactic. I know plot armor and everything, and it's because Naruto is the main character. But that was the most undeserved win ever. If we, like, I'm pretty sure Lee deserved the. F if Lee was going to fight there, Lee would have deserved the f win over Garo more than anything. Like that amount of training he went through, that amount of discrimination he went through because of him not being able to use chakra or anything, and still being that strong. And I'm pretty sure Lee would have taken out any of the uh, would have actually won it up against ev anyone in the preliminaries other than neji and gara of course uh yeah anyways now naruto and tsuki well team seven actually meets the joining team leader and he said uh, he actually tells naruto that he'll be coming with him and naruto then says well i figured that much on my own since you're the last one and anyways Kakashi then explains that he tried to come a bit faster but he got lost in the way of life but Naruto then says yeah sure more like in your pervy book anyways I want to meet the person who made that anywho now Naruto and the uh, team 7 of course go to the roof and they are asked you know who, what they want to do and everything and of course Naruto then says that he would actually want to become a uh, someone strong enough to protect his loved ones the person that the people that he finds uh, he, the people closest to him and of course the whole entire village too because of uh, him actually want uh, having a dream to become someone uh, reliable to the village because he knows that a lot of villagers hate him because of the Niantos however he doesn't believe that the Niantos really did anything and even though he knows that the Niantos killed the Hokage and everything he doesn't believe that the Niantos really did on purpose especially because from the memories that he damn chill fam anyways from the memories that he has he doesn't remember the night was actually wanting to attack or anything of course he was trying to get out however uh, well he has the memory of the night was causing pain to kushina uh because on that day she gave birth but he doesn't know who the kid was and he thought that the kid died but of course he doesn't know that the kid is him but anywho now of course naruto was told kakashi that he actually wanted to become someone who protects the village and uh, someone who the villagers actually want uh, trust in and anyways of course the Hoka the, 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 uh, the, Hokage, the kakashi saw that naruto actually had a pretty good dream anyways of course then he asked the rest uh sakura and sasuke's were pretty much the same and tsuki's one was a bit different tsuki actually wanted to have a life where she can be with the one that she loved the most and uh, also become stronger so she can protect that one person anyways of course Tsuki knows that Naruto is a Jinjuriki because Naruto has told her uh, because they do live together and it was pretty obvious that Naruto was a Jinjuriki especially because Naruto was starting a lot about the Nanto's attack and everything and then she did come to find out about Naruto being the Nanto's Jinjuriki anyways we move Naruto and well team 7 is told about the told about their test the next uh, about the test tomorrow but anyways that's where i'm gonna end off i hope you all enjoyed it please take care stay safe this is all the king of weaves here and don't forget to subscribe to miniman tree retreat and hamesh and also my second channel the king of noobs i'm about to hear 500 subs there i will be uploading tomorrow i believe if rewind comes out for the clubs to be honest but anyways i will be uh, uploading my rank ranked games there and also if you would like to, <clears throat> uh, if you uh, oh sorry, if you would like to 
follow Shoker on Instagram. He's a he's an amazing artist, the one who actually made my profile picture on YouTube and the profile picture of my server, pretty much. And also follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to remove the Twitter link from uh, twi uh, from my YouTube channel because I do not use Twitter anymore. And all oh, the descri description I deleted it. I don't like Twitter anymore. And anyways, I just don't like the place. I don't know why. And also. Don't forget to get your good quality anime merch from Beautiful Halo and good quality lamps from Lampty.com. Also, uh, the <coughs> promo codes are down the, uh, down in the description below. Meme, if you uh, use the code Meme, if your order goes over nineteen uh, forty nine dollars plus and you want a five percent off discount, and code the Memes, M E M E S, which is basically the other code with an S at the end. For 10% off on your next $99 plus order. And uh, Lampty dash the king of weebs. For a 10% off on any of your orders on, on Lampty.com. Also use my links uh, in the description below to actually and sign up there to support the channel. And the code for Lampty uh, for Lampty.com is actually capital L and then A-M-T-E-E. -E. And then dash the king of weeps how I write on my YouTube channel. Every capital except for the O and the F. Anyways, my dark prince here dismissed. This was the king of weeps eh? and peace.